welcome. This is Andy Roman. This episode of Get Real with Andy, I'm calling the story. You know, there's so many stories I tell myself specifically about who I am. You know, I could tell you I'm a psychotherapist. I'm a father. I'm a man. I'm an American. All kinds of things. And there's, you know, credence to every story. Those things are true. And depending on what I believe about myself is really the story that I'm going to tell. Stories are beliefs, really. But what if I told you, and I'm discovering this in my life, that there is a way to know myself that goes beyond the story. Because the story will be based on the degree to which I know myself. If there is a way to know myself beyond the story, what is that? And it has to do with being, that is beyond story, that I exist. You know, this is sort of a wordless story, a story without words. You know, some stories are just better than others. You know, I like stories with happy endings. I like stories where the protagonist goes through changes and uh, ends up to be a better person than they were before. I like stories where good triumphs over evil. And the story that we collectively tell ourselves is what's going on in the world right now. And it's not a pretty story. You know, there's lots of conflict, lots of division, right and wrong, war. It's really, it's a sucky story. And it's based on the beliefs that aren't really reality-based. They're not unity-based. And unity is the reality. We are on one planet. We're all together. Cooperation is the, the better story. And there are some stories that are just outright lies. And there are some lies that we don't recognize as lies because we grew up with them as if they were the truth. You know, it's the old story of the ugly duckling. Speaking of which, I have a duck that has made a nest right outside my front door. Here is the picture. And she's laid five eggs in it. And she's been so vigilant and sitting on this nest, tolerating us walking by. But the story goes that somehow an alien egg ended up in the duck's nest. And when the ducklings all hatched, there was one that was really different and weird. And because it grew up with ducks, it defined itself by duck standards. And by duck standards, it was large and awkward and ungainly and that sort of a thing. <clears throat> and only later in its life, when it met one of its own kind that happened to be a swan, and the swan showed its this ugly duck its reflection in the pond and revealed it to be a beautiful swan, did it finally make peace with and understand and know itself very directly and feel good? <clears throat> and I think, of course, it was probably a really humble swan because it had been living like an ugly duck for so long. So living with lies, I suppose it might have some kind of a, you know, silver lining. But I'm tired of it personally. I want the truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. And the truth is so different from a story. The truth is not a story. The truth is a reality that's directly knowable, experienceable within myself. And I, I said it before, but it has to do with the existence level of my own being. I exist. Such a mystery. Such a wonderful mystery. And I get to be this person. You know, I get to be Andy Roman and live out a life with an identity, you know, with human foibles and all that stuff. And I, I know in my own way, I'm I'm tuning into that. And of course... I'm not dying, dying. I'm healthy and all that. But really to have a perspective, to really know the reality is that I'm here for a short time. I get to be myself. And I want to maximize my 
experience. I want to squeeze all the juice that I can out of the fruit of this life. And that's not going to come by telling stories. Even better stories don't make for the best juice. They just don't. Good stories are better than bad stories. But a story is a story. I'm not saying stories aren't powerful. You know, the whole placebo response is really some subliminal story based on beliefs that we have that really impact our bodily reality. We could take an inert substance, think it's medicine, and get medicinal benefits. I mean, how powerful is that? So the power of a story is incredible, and that's why it behooves us to have better stories if we're going to be in storyland. But I find that waking up is the thing to do. Stories are like sleep. Stories are like dreams. And some dreams are better than others. But waking, waking up is hard to do. But waking is the thing to do. And it is available to us humans. By the grace of God and the grace of the universe, we get to know ourselves as a particle of the universe. And that disintegrates the fear of death. You know, yes, we transform. And so many people have come up with stories about what happens when we die. But again, we try and look to stories to find salvation and comfort. And some stories, it's just like millions of people agree with them. And so that doesn't make it one iota more real just because lots of people believe it, right? What's that saying? The truth is the truth, even if nobody believes it. And a lie is a lie, even if many people believe it. So I want the real thing at this point in my life. And I can be aware, even now as I speak, that I exist. It's just mind-blowingly wonderful. And then when we get together and go beyond our story, I, I notice that in therapy all the time. People are locked into their story. Some stories are centered on suffering. And the story we tell ourselves creates the identity that we live. And so there are many people who live centered on suffering. and. They don't want to change their story. We're, we're creatures of habit. We'd rather perfect our story of suffering and know ourselves as, I'm in therapy. Hello, my name is Andy. I'm an alcoholic. You know, we define ourselves by our story for better or for worse. So I want to keep refining my story if I'm going to have one. Keep making it better. I'm powerful. I'm awesome. I'm lovable. Those are really good features to have in a story. But I'm more than any of it. I've seen that as good as I am, I also have a dark side. Because while there is light and while I'm a human, I cast a shadow. So that's the bigger story of my wholeness. It's, it's just amazing. So listen, there is life beyond a story. Whatever you're telling yourself, there's, you're more than you think. And you're probably less than you think as well. All right. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Love you.